Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So this is day two of the boot fairs at the Isle of Wight and yeah we are at the Newport uh, boot fair now and looking at it it is massive in comparison to the other two that we went to yesterday. So hopefully we'll get some really good finds today. I am now really looking forward to this. I was a bit nervous as to what it would be like. But yeah, this obviously this seems to be the main boot fair on the island. So really, really chuffed I've come. So let's get you mounted to the backpack and then we'll see what we can find. You're right. How much did you have on your VHSs? Sorry? How much did you have on the VHSs? Uh, just a pound. Or How much? A pound each. A pound each, yeah? Pound each, yeah? Now I don't think so. Do 10 for a fiver? How many, sorry? Do 10 for a fiver? No, they're a pound each. No, just can't shift a bit. Do 10 for eight pound. Yeah, got it. <laughs> you got to ask or you don't yeah, get it. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Amazing. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Oh, it's us oldies that like the, the VHSs now. We've still got loads of, we've got loads, we've got hundreds, we just think, just look at the money here that's been spent on these. I have still got one player upstairs. Yeah. Don't worry about the change. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. Every time I go in the morning, I go Oh, come on, be nice. Not on nice, <laughs> only because she literally only had one at the morning a couple of times. I'll take it, you haven't got the insoles. No, because my daughter had orthopedic insoles. So we put those in and then yeah. she didn't get on with them. And... Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. As I say, if you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, no, no, everything else is pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> You alright? Let's have any shoes. Sorry? How much do you have any shoes? Three pound? Three pound? Yeah, go on, I'll grab those yeah. ones. I'll get the other one. What? for the camp cooler. Well, is there one in the bottom? I'll just do it from here. I can have one, I missed it. <laughs> I will. Charge, yeah? How much did you want for it? Um, because it hasn't got a battery, three quid. Three quid? Yeah, go on in. Baby. They're 158. 158. Yeah. <laughs> Do five for a fiver? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Do you know what you might want as well is... <laughs> <laughs> no, these got it out the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these little tags are some of the. All right, yeah. Is it the co they're collectibles, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to take them then? Yeah, you can got them. That would be brilliant. A little bag. We got one. Uh, yeah, I've got one just there. Cheers. Yeah, lovely. There you go. Thanks Thank you. Thank you.
come, eh? Let's have a nice two. Uh, all the games were obtained each. each yeah. Box yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Go on, let's have on that. Oh, that one. Oh, there you go, <laughs> that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How much? Um, Sorry. just for the DVD player. Just for the yeah. Um, together I was going to do fifteen quid, but on that on its own, do it for like a fiver. How much? Fiver. Fiver. Yeah, go for it. Just have to grab uh, the. Uh, there are wires in there, and uh, ah, should have a remote with it as well. Yeah, um, that would be perfect. Just, I'm selling it for my nans. Right. <laughs> So we are back from the Sunday boot fair and as you can see we've had a much better day today. Um, yeah, chalk and cheese compared to what it was like yesterday. Uh, we got yeah quite a lot of really good stuff. Um, as you saw from the video the boot fair itself wasn't as big as what we're used to. Um, I'd probably say a bit smaller than the Saturday boot fair. Yeah, I'd probably say that about a bit smaller, if not the same size, if not a bit smaller than the Saturday Boot Fair. But we did get some really nice finds. So let's dive straight in and we'll go straight over to the VHSs. So the bottom stack here we picked up first and we paid... Uh, ba, 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 ba. What did we pay for them? We paid £8. That was it. Uh, so we've got five Disney DVDs and five Mr. Bean DVDs. Not DVDs, VHSs. Um, the Disney VHSs are going to go be put aside uh, for the collection that I'm putting together. And the Mr. Bean ones I am actually going to sell. We should be able to sell them for about £15, uh, which would make us about £5 profit. So not too bad there. Uh, then... Um, as I was walking around, a bit further on, I saw a box that had another load of VHSs in it. And the one that actually caught my eye was the Black Cauldron. Uh, it's not one that I've seen before. Um, and it is actually quite a, from what I can remember, it's quite a rare uh, Disney video. So I started having a look through the box that they had. I had them marked up at 10, pe 10 pence each. Uh, I think in the end up I picked up eight. Um, and then just give them a pound. Uh, it was just easier than worrying about the change. So once again, those will be put aside and I'll look to make up a set. Uh, then let's go on to some of the other bits. So we've got the Monsters DVD. Uh, this is essentially sort of a comedy sort of rip-off. It's probably the best way to describe it of the Adams Family. Um, I watched it when I was younger, absolutely loved it. I am probably going to give this a watch uh, before listing it, um, if I even list it. So we paid £2 for it. It only actually sells for £5, so that would actually be a 94p loss. So not too sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Might just chalk that up as a loss and keep that for myself. Uh, we've then got the Star Trek Mr. Spock's Guide to the Enterprise. Um, this is a, an illustrated book uh, based upon the original uh, Enterprise from Star Trek. Uh, we paid, let me have a look, where are we looking at? So we paid 50p for this, should sell for about £6, which once it's all said and done, will be about £1.92p profit. Then the what will probably turn out to be the controversial pickup of the day, uh, and it is the Panasonic uh, RX14 video camera. So I was looking through the bag while we were there. Um, it, obviously, I saw the camera, saw the charger, um, couldn't see a battery for it. Uh, the seller, in, the seller, also went through the bag, couldn't see it at all. Um, and then when I got home, I opened the lid and just happened to notice 
the battery was actually in the top of the bag. Uh, neither me nor the seller noticed it while we were at the boot fair. Um, so, yeah, got a bit of a deal on that one. Uh, because the battery's included, um, I just need to get it powered up, get it tested. Um, but we should be able to list that for about £40, which we paid £3 for it. So once it's all said and done, that'll be about a £28 profit. Next up, we've got a couple of the Beanie Babies. Uh, so the reason that I picked these up was mainly for these four, uh, because they are the sort of New Year uh, special edition bears. Uh, we've got, uh, what we've got, 99, 2000, 2001, and 2003. Unfortunately, no 2002. Uh, whether it was there and I missed it or they had already sold it, uh, I don't know. But I didn't. I don't. I didn't see it when I was there. Uh, and then we also picked up the Unity Bear up the back as well, which is sort of like it looks like an EU bear. Uh, all in all, we paid five pound for these. The I'm going to bundle the four uh, special edition New Year's bears together. Uh, they should go for about fifteen, uh, which would get us a five pounds and eighteen p profit. Uh, the Unity Bear would go for about five fifty. Um, that would lose us ten uh, p. So I may see if I can bump that up uh, to six pounds and just see how we go. If not, I can bundle it in with another bundle. Uh, then moving along, we've got so if we start off with the trainers. So we've got the black pair here, which is a pair of Nike Air Max 97s uh, in size 5. We paid £5 for these. The seller would not budge at all. And I will say that's something that I've seen from a lot of sellers uh, while we've been on the island at the boot fairs, is a lot of them will not budge on price. They will stick dead set. They've got their price. They will stick to that price <laughs> dead on. Um so yeah that that was quite an interesting one uh not something i'm used to because obviously the dealers back at home will more often than not tend to barter but yeah so we paid five pound for that uh i was quite happy to pay five pounds so i knew they would be, be able to list them for about 25 um so that would net us about 12 pounds about 13 pound profit on that uh we then got the nike flex experience running four uh, those are also a size five. We paid three pound for them. Uh, they will go. They will only go for about twelve pounds, which uh, is a lot less than I thought they would. Uh, that is a about three pound fifty profit on that one. But the one thing that I did know was going to absolutely net us some profit was the LG DVD recorder. Um, it does come with the remote as well. Uh, we paid £5 for this. Um, I've already got one listed at the moment for £55. So, yeah, a good bit of profit to come from that one. Just need to, obviously, get it home, get it tested, um, and then we'll be good to go on that. And then, finally, we've got a couple of Xbox 360 games. Uh, we've got a couple of Call of Duties to put together in a, a bundle. Um, I've got some Modern Warfares at home that I want to bundle in with these. And then we've also got Res Resident Evil 5 and 6. Um, I was going to list these separately, um, but they don't go for too much. Uh, £3.50 for Resident Evil 5, £3 for Resident Evil 6. So I might just do them as an Xbox 360 bundle. Um, chuck them up at sort of £4 or £5 um, and see how we get on with them. And yes, that is everything that we picked up from the boot fair so let me switch to the other camera and then we will quickly run through the totals for today okay so that is all of the pickups from today's boot fair trip and yeah as as i've said chalk and cheese from what we had yesterday some really really good finds and yeah can't wait to get home get them photographed and get them listed but before we wrap up today's video let's quickly run through the totals uh, so total spend was £35.82. Uh, reason for that is, is because the Xbox 360 games were actually part of a bundle, uh, some of which I kept for my gaming collection, uh, some of which I am going to be reselling. Uh, total potential uh, sale price is going to be £185. 
and that would net us a potential profit of £89.44p. So really, really chuffed with that. That is an absolutely amazing, uh, probably du that's double what we done yesterday um, for not much more than what we spent actually yesterday. So yeah, really, really happy with that. But uh, we also have the breakdown for today as well. So we were at the boot fair for an hour and 24 minutes. Um, I've not included the travel time with this one because it was about a 15 minute drive from where I'm staying. Uh, so not too bad and actually closer than the two boot fairs that I normally do when I'm at home. So can't really include that if I'm not including it at home. Uh, we've got 11 items that are listable. Uh, so that will mean an hour and six minutes for listing and shipping. Uh, total time investment of two hours and 30 minutes. And that would work out as a per hour profit of £35 and 78p. So not as high as some of our um, boot fares and that that we do at home, but I am really not going to complain at that. Um, it is it was, it was a good bit of profit for something that is an experiment. Um, but I will say we have actually booked to come back to the Isle of Wight at some point next year. So I probably will be going back to the Sunday boot fair if it is on when we come back. Um, I'm probably not going to do the charity shops or the other boot fairs um, just because, yeah, we've not really had, didn't get a good return from those ones. But also, that is going to, this is going to be our last video from the Isle of Wight. Um, I have to say, I've had another amazing trip. This is, in recent years, I've probably been here, this is probably about my fourth or fifth trip um, in the last probably 10 years. Um, really, really enjoy it every time we come. And yeah, looking forward to coming back again next year and seeing what other trouble I can get into. <laughs> but with that said, that is going to wrap today's video up. But before you head off, you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when we upload new videos of the places that I go to when I'm at home. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed this little mini series of videos from the Isle of Wight. And I will see you on the next one. All right, bye.